You want to find any and every problem that could possibly occur on a vehicle before it gets into the hands of the customers. So that means testing in all kinds of different scenarios, everything from the coldest temperatures all the way up to the hottest temperatures. In this wrap-up phase, we're using um, climate chambers like the one right behind me, and we are cold soaking the vehicles overnight down to minus 40 degrees centigrade. When we soak the cars, every single molecule in the car gets down to that temperature. So you get to that baseline. And that has all kinds of different impacts on, on the vehicle. Lubricants change viscosity. They change their properties at different temperatures. The batteries react differently at different temperatures. Their ability to provide power, their ability to accept power when you're charging it. We're going to test the heat up of the interior of the vehicle to see how quickly can we de-ice the windshields, defog the interior and make the cabin cozy. So you need to test all of these things uh, to understand what the limitations of the different aspects of the vehicle are uh, and then optimize them. What we're doing today is testing those limits. So we're going to make sure that the car is starting reliably, starting up every time. So when we swipe a car, we press a key fob or use the phone to get in the car that's going to do it the same way it would when it's nice and sunny in California or it's like dead of winter in Minnesota. What I really liked was the quietness in the cabin despite cold temperatures. Typically interior components get noisier as it gets cold. And that was a great experience to see how quiet the interior stayed. Our customers don't expect 80%, they expect 99.999%. And the difference between 80% to that 99.999% level is really what defines a product, it defines a car company. That's why everybody is working so hard. One team, one goal, we're out to produce the perfect vehicle and satisfy our customers 100%.